Hello. On behalf of MathWorks, I would like to welcome you to the Best Robotics Competition 2014. This is the third video which is going to talk about building and downloading a Simulink model to your VEX robot. In the previous video, we saw how to create a simple Simulink model for your VEX robot and to simulate the model to test for any errors that it might have. We also explored the VEX Companion app and the new VEX library. In this video, we will see how to take the Simulink model that you created earlier and build the Simulink model and download the program to your VEX robot. So, the first thing that we'll do is build and download the Simulink model. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a very simple Simulink model, and I saved it in a specific location on my computer. To access the Simulink model, go to the current folder panel and browse to the location where the Simulink model was saved. Here is my Simulink model, and I can double click on this to open the Simulink model. In order to build and download the Simulink model to my VEX robot, go to the Simulink toolbar and find this blue icon, which is the Build Model button. Before you click this button, make sure that your VEX microcontroller is connected to your computer USB port. Now let's go ahead and hit the Build Model button. You will notice that once I hit the Build Model button, my Simulink model grays out, which means that my model is going through the build process. Once the Simulink model becomes active, it means that it has completed the build process. To check if the build process has been completed, click on this View Diagnostics link at the bottom. Clicking this button opens up the Diagnostics Viewer window. Here, you can see the verbose output of your build process. The most important information over here is right at the bottom where it says it has successfully completed the build procedure for the Simulink model MyFirstModel.SLX, which means that I've been able to successfully build the generated code for the Simulink model and download it to my VEX microcontroller. Okay, so now I have uh, my VEX robot actually sitting right here and um, I have my Simulink program that I created earlier downloaded to the VEX microcontroller. Uh, I have my VEX gamepad here that I'm going to use to control the robot. So for the tank robot configuration, the expected behavior is when I push both the uh, sticks along the vertical axis upwards, then the robot moves forward, and when I push it down, it should move backwards. I just push both in the opposite direction, and then they make turns. So uh, the program was uh, tested and it's working successfully on the robot. Now if you're interested in looking at the generated code for the Simulink model, go to your MATLAB desktop and look for the folder which has the name of your Simulink model appended by underscore ERT underscore RTW. Inside this folder, you will find a C file which has the same name as your Simulink model. In my case, it is my first model.c. When you double click on this file, it will open up the source C code that was generated for your Simulink model. So that brings us to the end of this video. We have seen how to build and download a Simulink model to the VEX microcontroller, and we have also verified the robot behavior by running the program on a VEX robot. We've also shown you, if you desire, how to look for the generated code for your Simulink model. If you need more help, please use the user's guide to learn more about the different blocks. You can open the user's guide by clicking on the user's guide button in the VEX companion app. If you're running into any problems using our software, go to the MATLAB Answers community page and look for questions that have been submitted by other users. Also, if you have a question that you want to ask, submit a question by clicking on the Ask a Question button. 
If you need immediate assistance with using the support package, please send us an email at bestrobotics at mathworks.com. Again, thank you for watching this video and good luck with the best competition this year.